everybody. This song has always haunted me. Uh, I love this song so much. And there's a couple of really brilliant things about it that are so unique. I mean, for a blues turnaround to have this baked into it. And then here. And this dissonance right here, this is what blows me away. So sometimes it's A to A flat, but the chord is also kind of D to D flat. And on this chord, it's the most dissonant thing I've ever heard. Check this out. Now it gets a little more consonant if you use this bass note. But it's so cool to break that rule and have this chord, D7, and then it's basically D flat major seven, especially on this one. And the reason it works, I think, is because there's clarity from the low bass note all the way up to this. There's enough space between the two intervals that it really works. It's just, it's such a rule breaking amazing, beautiful little little melody, little motif. It's a motif more than a melody. And the thing I want to talk about today, just for a few minutes, is Sir Jimmy Page, arguably one of the greatest rock composers ever. So a classical level of arrangement, composition, writing, uh, you know, and I'm sure everybody in the band participated. But then when he solos, it's almost like he could care less about uh, structure and even perfection because the solos are just these off-the-cuff things with little, you know, all kinds of little <laughs> blemishes, if you were. I mean, it's like he, it's, they're so irreverent and spontaneous. And it took me a long time to actually appreciate that fully because when I was coming up, I liked the, the guitar solos that were kind of perfect. You know, the guys who would kind of do stuff perfectly. And, and there's something really amazing about being able to let go. And like even on this song, he'll, he'll just use the sound of the guitar in spot. And then of course he ignores time, you know, and then this wonderful bend. And he does this thing, which I learned from Alvin Lee in 10 years after, way back in, in the, the back, way back days. So the thing I, I want to stress is you have this amazing composer who, when he actually execute his, executes his compositions, does it with almost an early teenage approach. I mean, one of you guys actually talked about playing Black Dog with all downstrokes. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sounds great with all downstrokes. I mean, and a riff that I actually work on. Out on the tiles is a great exercise, and he plays that in a very teenage way. So if you want a t kind of a tongue twister on guitar, a nice exercise, learn out on the tiles. And then it goes. And almost the sloppier you play it, the more legit it sounds. You see what I'm saying? There's no, there's no English when a body, you know, uh, guitar English technique English when he plays this part. It's it's teenage. It's very teenage. And then you go to something like this: what is and what should never be, and you have this really elegant verse. Super light touch, kind of clean, probably on the neck pickup. Just, you know, turn down a little bit. And then switch to the bridge and do this.
you know. And almost the sloppier you play it, although I hate to use the word sloppy because it's on it, the looser you play it, the more legit it sounds. So that, that's what I'm kind of talking about today is this amazing irreverence, this looseness, this spontaneity when he plays lead, uh, which is good for me because, you know, because, being a studio musician, I always had to play things very precisely. So it's really good for me to rough it up and take some risks. Let me play through this one more time and then we'll look at some questions. Here we go. It's not the style of Page necessarily, but it's the attitude of Page to just take risks and don't worry if you kind of bump a note now and then or if some note stops short. And, you know, let the noises be fun. Something we can, I think, all benefit from is that kind of looseness. So now I'm going to turn on my broadcast pedal which is a very creamy kind of overdrive. And I'm gonna play slower and more languid. So let me go after the turnaround, here we go. So it's like, don't, don't be afraid to be sloppy. Don't be, be afraid to take risks. And I mean, that's, it's a pretty cool thing to be able to, to give up all of that pretense of I'm gonna play perfect and just kind of go for it. So that's what I get from him. I'm gonna show you what I've got set up today, my second camera here. So there's the FM9, which is, ooh, awesome. Can you still see, Nigel? Um, no. How about now? Okay, we got it back. So there's the FM9 from last week's video. Now, is it out of focus? No. Okay, good. That's my Pro Tools screen where I'm playing along. This is the wild collection of pedals. And what I just turned on was the broadcast for that extra fuzz. And then we look across the room, got the lights, got extra stuff. We got the phone, we got the universal audio stuff, the hologram, which one, what is that called? The hologram microcosm. There it is. Hologram microcosm. Marshall's this old PA head, which sounds really good. Today I'm using the divided by 13 head and my super sweet right back there. Super sweet for just a push on the divided by 13 head using some old Celestians from 1968 old speakers, but a real amp. Really had fun with the FM9 last week, but it's back to the real amplifier today. Extra picks there. My ancient tuner, which is the old Peterson. 
That's my acoustic guitar mic, which I pull in for acoustic guitar stuff on sessions. My Kemper profiles are on the masterclass. So finally, I can talk about there is a special on the masterclass today, uh, just for this weekend. If you go to the masterclass for the free trial, I shouldn't say this, but you can download the Kemper profiles, and then if you decide you don't want the master class, <laughs> you can opt out. So the free trials are there. There's a Kemper video in the master class. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but the there's a, a an actual attachment that has the Kemper profiles that we did. They're free. Um, you might even go back to the YouTube video that's on my channel and look for them there. They might even be on there. No, I don't think they're on there. I think they're in the master class. So yeah, all of you, I if you want to support the channel, the master class is how I monetize. It's the only way I make money. Uh, don't really make money on the YouTube channel. A little bit, but mo a lot of my videos are demonetized. So if you want to support me, and you want guitar lessons, take the free trial. If it's right for you, stay in. If it's not, just opt out. Hey, I'm going to play a little bit because that's what I came to do, and then uh, we'll take a couple more questions. Here we go. to do is bursts of speed. That's really effective when you're playing slow and then just out of the blue you go. I always love to play with opposites. Simple, complex, clean, dirty, loud, soft, always kind of going back and forth through opposites. That's 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 what keeps it fresh and that's what keeps it interesting, I think. Well, you're asking for a tip over playing through 12-8. Eventually you develop a clock, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, small threes, big threes. Um, eventually it becomes second nature. And that's that's what I would work for is so that Da, 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 da. It's going constantly in kind of in your body, in your psyche. And I don't do much of that in this song, but you can definitely just swing da 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 let me show you you see i i did it there i actually swing for a little while and then Play fast. So always, always trying to use opposites all the time. Also, I love to use tritones. It's like if I can find something like that, I'll use it. And then always come back to consonants after dissonance. So anyway, anyway, if you guys haven't checked out the, the, the free trial in the masterclass and this, this sale that we're having this weekend, check it out. Uh, it's just for the next two days. And um, I'm going to play out a little more. I want to thank you guys for, for coming and for joining us and for supporting the channel. And all you got to do is take the 14-day free trial. If you like it, stay in, and that'll, that'll support us. That'll keep us going. Because even this video... We test it, we get a copyright claim, and Led Zeppelin makes the money from this video, and there'll be ads on it, and so 
you want to support the master class, just check it out and, and see if it's right for you. No obligation. You can cancel any time before day 15. And so I want to thank you guys for joining us. And uh, I'll keep doing these. And I'll see you in probably in a couple of weeks for another one. And uh, of course, this will stay on the YouTube channel archived so you can watch it anytime. So I'll play out for a little while, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much. Here we go.